Hey there, welcome to my channel and welcome back to another brand new episode. And today we're gonna create a very simple poster design using Adobe Photoshop. And the most important thing is we're gonna test a brand new LUT. Yes, that LUT will be available on my Patreon. So if you guys love designing and if you haven't subscribed my channel yet, then please do subscribe. And that turns to cover. So without any further ado, let's dive into the video. All right, so here we go. We're in Photoshop and very first thing, let's create an artboard and for that press Ctrl and N and I'm going for 4x5 resolution to 300, color mode to RGB, bitrate to 8 and let's keep everything as default and let's click and create. And like I said, the main purpose of this video is to test my brand new LUT. So everything gonna be very simple. So let's drag and drop our very first texture background and let's drag right here and press Ctrl and T. Let's make it a little smaller just like so and then uh let's add a solid and let's give kind of similar color color just like so and let's click on okay and let's click on that layer max go to brush and let's go for a general soft brush and let's erase some of these hard edges right here and then let's drag and drop our very first image. So let's see, let's drag and drop this one right over here. Control T, let's make it a little smaller and let's keep it right around here. Now let's drop down the opacity for this one a little bit. Yep, somewhere around here. Uh, let's create a layer max, go to brush and let's go for a cloud brush. So I'm going to use this one and let's it is uh, some of these hard edges right here. And I'm going to use the cloud brush because we're going to use the, some cloud texture and uh, later in this video. Now let's drag and drop another image. So let's see, let's keep it right over here. Control T, let's add a little rotation. Let's make it a little smaller and let's keep it right around here. And maybe let's make it a little bigger, just like, so yeah, let's keep it just like that and let's go back and yeah, let's drag and drop this uh, texture right over here and let's change the blending mode to uh, multiply and control T let's move it right around here and let's press control and T let's uh, do a perspective and let's make it just like so here we go and maybe let's make it a little smaller yep like that let's go over here create a new layer go to brush and let's add some clouds right over here so the white color yep maybe one stroke right around here and then let's create a one more layer again go back to brush and let's go for another cloud let's see let's go for this one and let's add one and let's go on very top again and let's add one more right around here now uh, let's Go and let's add a clip and holding shift let's create a circle keep it under this one and let's go for kind of darker color yep just just like so and let's change the blending mode to uh, multiply and control T yep and let's keep it somewhere around here I guess or maybe let's make it a little smaller Yep, I think right here looks good to me and let's keep it like that and let's add like a few more shapes right around here. And let's see, let's change the fill to kind of off white, ah, I will say. Yep, let's go for this one and let's keep it on very top 
and then let's drop down the opacity a little bit yep, just like so and Control J, Control T. Let's move one right around here. Here, let's drop down the opacity some more, I guess. Yep. Let's keep it like that and let's change the opacity for this one too. Let's keep it somewhere around here. And let's add some text right around here. Control T. Let's make it a little bigger yep and let's move it down somewhere around here and let's go on very top click on look up and from here click on load so this is the new lot and it's windy cali version 2 and this lot is available on my patreon so select this one and click on load so here we go and let's change some uh, uh, basic color adjustment so let's go back to image go to filter and let's go to camera raw filter and let's see let's drop down the highlights let's increase the saddles let's increase the clarity let's increase the texture and uh, let's go to detail or let's go back to color mixer tab and from here let's drop down the saturation for red let's drop it down for er uh, yellows a little bit yep somewhere around here let's drop down for green aqua blue purple and magenta too and let's see uh let's increase the texture a little more maybe clarity some more and maybe let's drop down the vibe in somewhere around here and let's click on okay and let's do the same thing for this image so select another image go to filter let's go to camera raw filter and let's apply the previous setting and let's see how it looks i think it looks better so let's click on ok and then let's add like a few more ticks right over here yeah let's uh, make it a smaller here we go let's keep it all the way to the top and let's move it down a little bit yep and let's add a one more texture on very top so i will go for this texture and let's keep it on very top let's change the blending mode to screen and press ctrl and t let's make it a little bigger yep just like so and then let's merge everything ctrl shift alt and e let's go to filter let's add some blur so let's go for a motion blur and uh let's add a little bit here yeah. and let's create a layer max go to brush again and let's erase some of these parts here we go and let's add uh, one more text so here we go so that's the final and i hope you guys learned something new from this tutorial and yep i'll see you in the next video till then you guys take care be safe and be creative Bye bye